know, what choice you make will depend on how large your original plan view is um, and your elevation view uh, as to whether you pl place it kind of halfway up or all the way above or all the way below. Um, because mine is quite small due to the scaling that I did earlier, um, I am going to, I think it will be best if my um, plan view is below. Uh, I'm also going to bring this down slightly um, and just extend those lines down because remember that's where my viewpoints are. Okay. Now what I might do here is I'm just going to start naming or labeling a few things. Um, we're going to introduce the idea of layers for this as well. Um, so I'm going to click on my layers tab. If I don't have my layers tab I can click on window and I'll find layers in there. So anything uh, in terms of these little tabs, palettes, if you can't find it, go to the window menu. So create new layer. I'm going to double click on it and call it uh, labels. And click OK. Now it's the current layer. Now I know it's the current layer because if you look uh, at the top right of that labels layer, it's got a little black arrow. It's right in the corner, right there. Um, and that indicates that it's the current layer. If I select this, that's now the current layer. Select this, it's the current layer. Anything I create will be on that layer. Um, I'm going to create the first label on layer one just to show you how I can move um, objects from layer to layer. So coming into my text tool, uh, and I'm going to create, we'll go for picture plane first. So I'm just going to, and actually that should all be in caps. So picture plane, oops, there we go. And I'm going to crank that up a little bit. I think that's probably okay. Picture plane, and I'm going to move that to the side. So that's noting that this red line here is my picture plane, and actually, Totally screwed that up. Pixel plane is labeled with a P and a P. Much easier. There we go. Okay, now that object is on layer one. Now to move it to labels, uh, what I can do is I can select the object um, and then I'm going to select labels. So this is now the current layer. I right click on the object. And go arrange send to current layer and it will now move it to labels so if I hide the layer labels PP has disappeared yep that's one of the advantages of using these layers I'm going to use that for our reference lines as well so I'm going to select my reference lines and I'm going to move those onto a new layer I'll call that reference lines and I can just right click um, with those selected and reference line is my current layer send to current layer okay so now if I ever want to just see what's going on and kind of clear things up I'll be able to remove those easily okay so I'm going to go ahead and label everything else Okay, we've got one final reference line to put in. It is something called height line. Now, I'm just gonna show you an example. So this is the desk example that we saw um, that we were so very impressed with. Now, this is your height line here. Um, and what it does is it comes off our object comes along that angle, hits the picture plane, and then comes down. And what happens is we take our heights out from the elevation, and where they intersect the height line, they then project along the line coming back to the viewpoint and out. And that's how we get our object. Yep. So it's kind of a like we do when we do our orthographic. Um, we um, join up our plan and elevation views to get that third view. We're doing a similar thing here, but in a slightly different way, we're using it to get our perspective. Um, so we need to get our height line.
Okay, so I'm just going to show you the other example of the desk um, because the height line will differ or can differ if your plan view is above the picture plane. So let's switch to the other view. So here the plan view is above the picture plane, uh, the picture plane, and you see when progressing or taking our line down to the picture plane because the object or the plan view already touches the picture plane we can just bring that straight down yeah, we don't need to worry too much and the elevation just sinks up um, so that is um, a little bit easier um, but we're not getting the detail that we need in the small view so what we've done is we've brought the plan view below the picture plane and brought that height line back up along the angle and then down Yep, and we're just bringing that um, elevation, bringing those lines out, hitting that height line, and then projecting, projecting along our um, vanishing point lines, our vanishing lines, converging lines. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. This is how we are going to do it because our plan view is also below the picture plane because we're looking to get a slightly enlarged um, perspective view. Okay, so let's draw in our lines here. So we need to go along our line here. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult. So what we're going to do is first of all I need to make sure that I've got a stroke um, with my line. So I'm just going to draw that line there and then move it across. Yeah, and that will ensure that that angle is accurate. Where it intersects, and I can zoom in, get nice and close, and you can see I get that intersection point. I can then drop down. Yep, and I'm dropping all the way down here. This is going to be my height line. Now this should be on my reference lines uh, layer, um, ideally. Um, I'm also going to tidy up. You see how this one comes past it. I'm going to tidy that up, and we've discussed this in class using this arrow, the black arrow to select objects and the white arrow to select sub-objects or anchor points. So I can select that object, click on that anchor point to make it active and then move it back. Yeah, and that tidies that up. And that will help you uh, with a lot of tidying up in the future as well. So I can do that. Now, back to object selection. So I'm selecting these two objects. Now these should live on the reference lines layer. So I select them make the reference lines layer active or current arrange send current layer yep. now when I turn that off they all disappear yep. okay so that's my height line I'm also gonna have to create a label Okay, so there is my height line. 